If you're looking for beginner cybersecurity courses, this video is for you. Plus, I'll be including many free courses on here as well. If you're a complete beginner and want to start somewhere, I guarantee there will be a resource on this list that you'll be interested in. All right, so let's jump right into it. Number one on this list is the Level Effect Cybersecurity Foundations Training. This includes three full fundamental courses for cybersecurity, IT, and GRC. The entire training path takes about 16 to 20 hours to complete. So this would be a great course to go through over a weekend or just studying part-time throughout the week since it is fully self-paced and online. The course itself includes 40 videos and 65 guided labs. So not only do you get video content for foundational cybersecurity, IT, and compliance knowledge, you also get 65 guided labs that you can also use to get free hands-on cybersecurity experience without ever having to pay a cent. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I always pushed for doing technical projects and getting hands-on experience, not just going for common security certifications. Of course, I recommend getting your CompTIA Security Plus, but that is only half the battle the other half is getting the foundational knowledge and hands-on experience to add onto your resume, whether it be through online courses, labs, personal projects, building your own home lab, building your own SIEM. There's so many different ways to do that online and many options nowadays are free. So the Level Effect Free Cybersecurity Foundations Pathway is split up into three courses. Starting with IT fundamentals, you'll start by learning about the Windows operating system, Linux operating system, and networking so that you can gain a solid foundation of Windows, Linux, and network traffic analysis. The second free course in this pathway is their cybersecurity fundamentals, where you'll cover the overall cybersecurity industry, cryptography, logging for security, and cyber threat intelligence, and OSINT, aka open source intelligence. These foundational concepts, along with how they come together to help mitigate common threats and cyber vulnerabilities. And then last but not least, you'll cover compliance fundamentals. This is one of my favorite areas in cybersecurity, GRC, or governance risk and compliance, and it is essentially the auditing side, anything that has to do with following certain rules or standards for companies in various sectors around the world. Think of it as the business side of cybersecurity since it is mostly non-technical and great for those who are interested in the process side of cybersecurity documentation and why we do certain things, have certain controls, and implement certain processes or technologies over others. Even if you're going into a technical cybersecurity role, I would still recommend getting some experience or at least background knowledge in GRC so that inevitably when you eventually get to a point in your career, when you start getting those calls to get pulled into an audit, again you most likely will, then at least you'll know the basics and the why behind why companies have to go through audits in the first place. This course is very generalist, so I would recommend it to anyone watching this video, even if you're interested in red teaming, blue teaming, even IT and GRC. And of course, as always, I'll link the course in my description if you're interested in checking it out. All right, the next course on this list is the official NISC Risk Management Framework course, which is one of the official trainings created by NIST or the National Institute of Standards and Technology. By the way, if you're interested in primarily GRC courses, I do have a video on that. And of course, I'll add that link to my description. But NIST is one of the most common security standards that companies will follow to make sure that they're aligned with certain security controls and standards to help them become more secure or to help their cybersecurity program become more mature. Now, this course specifically covers the NISC Risk Management Framework, which is just one of the pillars in a GRC, Governance, Risk, and Compliance, but this does come with four introductory courses that you can take for free. And once you complete the courses, you'll also get a simple certificate of completion that you can also add onto your LinkedIn. But essentially, this covers an introductory course to the overall risk management framework, perfect for anyone who is going into a risk analyst role or a compliance analyst role, or just a security auditing role. The Risk Management Framework Introductory Course, Security and Privacy Controls Introductory, Assessing Security and Privacy Controls, as well as Control Baselines Introductory. What's great about this course is that it also has slides that you can personally download. Now this is a four video course so you can follow along, but you can also download the slides directly if you prefer that as well. But there is a lot of information on here. I do think that you can probably complete this course in a weekend, but I would take your time going through it and maybe go through it multiple times if many of these concepts are new to you, since it is a lot of information to digest at once. But personally, as someone who has gone through internal and external IT audits, many of the standards and certifications that we have nowadays in the tech space are based on the NIST framework or controls. So you always want to keep that in mind and not to mention that if you're starting a career in cybersecurity, you're very likely to get an interview question about the NIST framework, even if you're going into a red team or a blue team role, not even GRC, because the NIST framework is just very well known and it's kind of expected that a technical cybersecurity professional would also know at least what the NIST framework is and the steps involved. So again, no matter what area you're interested in going into cybersecurity, I do think this is a nice in-depth introductory course that you can go through just so you have that foundational knowledge. All right, the next program I want to talk about is the Simply Learn Postgraduate Program in Cybersecurity. This program is perfect for anyone who has already graduated with their bachelor's degree. Maybe you're working in a different field or a non-technical sector and you're trying to start your career in cybersecurity. This program is perfect for anyone who 
who's already graduated with their bachelor's degree, even if you have no technical background or experience, but are looking to pivot into cybersecurity from a non-technical role. The Simply Learn postgraduate program in cybersecurity is designed with modules from the MIT Schwarzman College of Computing and the EC Council. This is a six month fully online bootcamp that was rated 4.5 stars on SwitchUp as part of this program, you'll attend live masterclasses delivered by faculty from MIT, as well as complete four industry case studies covered by MIT professors. This along with 25 plus hands-on cybersecurity projects to help boost your technical experience and add onto your resume or project portfolio when you start applying to cybersecurity jobs. The live lessons also cover the latest AI trends and how this impacts cybersecurity roles. You can check out their learner reviews directly on their website, as well as the application process, and selected candidates can begin the program within one to two weeks. The next cohort starts soon, and I'd recommend checking it out in the link in my description if you're interested in learning more. You can also get a 10% off scholarship for the program using my code SANDRA10. And with that, let's get back to the rest of the video. All right, next up on this list is the Hack the Box Certified Defensive Analyst Certification. I've personally done a review of this course in the past, and it's primarily made for anyone who is interested in going into a defensive security role, specifically for SOC and security analysts. For most of the courses I recommend, the biggest thing I look for is for hands-on technical labs that you can work on to be able to boost your resume, whether it be adding it as a personal project or listing it as a skill set in your toolbox so that your resume is more likely to stand out to a recruiter or a hiring manager. As part of the Hack the Box CDSA certification, you'll cover SOC processes and methodologies. You also get hands-on experience using and tinkering with an SIEM, tactical analysis, Analysis, log analysis, threat hunting, active directory attack analysis, IDS and IPS, malware analysis, as well as DFIR operations. And once you complete the course, you have a chance to take their hands-on exam, which is a practical exam, so you'll actually get to test out your knowledge and your capabilities, and not just through multiple choice questions. The exam will include security analysis, SOC operations, and incident handling responses against multiple real-world attacks in Hack the Box's infrastructure. So again, another great thing to add onto your resume and talk about in an interview when you're asked about it when you're applying for SLC or security analyst roles. These kinds of simulations are where you're going to get that real world experience without first having a job. And these are the things that are going to impress a hiring manager before ever starting that job in the first place. All right, the next course I want to talk about are the official CISA cybersecurity courses. Now, if you're new to cybersecurity and haven't heard of CISA, CISA stands for the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, and it is the official government agency that reports the biggest cybersecurity vulnerabilities, breaches, news, anything related to cybersecurity and infrastructure security. If you've ever worked in cybersecurity, you may know them from the CISA alerts. Basically, every time there's a new CVE, CISA will give an alert to cybersecurity teams, but of course, you can also sign up for CISA alerts on your own as an individual. But on top of this, they also have free cybersecurity courses that not many people know about, at least from what I've seen. These include topics like 101 reverse engineering, the basics of zero trust, cloud computing security, cyber supply chain risk management, cyber essentials, ransomware attacks, cyber risk management, cyber intelligence, securing internet accessible systems, understanding DNS attack, understanding web and email server security. There's a lot of information out here, and not only is it for those who may be interested in starting a career in cybersecurity, but it's also for the general public, just in terms of how to avoid a phishing attack, which I personally think everyone should take this course in middle school or high school, because there are so many scams out there through text message, through email, through vishing. It's not just targeted at older generations, but also Gen Z and Gen Alpha. I think the foundations of Cybersecurity 101 definitely need to be taught more in school, but these three courses offered by CISA cover general, basic cybersecurity foundations and hygiene, but it also covers concepts that a cybersecurity professional could really take advantage of, especially if you're just starting out. For example, DNS attacks, ransomware attacks, how to secure a web and email server. And again, all this is free. So I would highly recommend checking this out. If you have some time, most of the courses are around an hour to two hours, which is a pretty good time frame if you have some time to kill or just looking for some training to do in your free time. All right, if you've made it to this point of the video, kudos to you because you're probably one of the 10% of people who really make it to the end of videos, but hopefully you can take advantage of all these resources. Many of them are free. So again, there's nothing to lose and there's so much out there to learn. But this last course I want to talk about is the free Try Hack Me Ultimate Guide for Beginners. Now, I've been a big fan of Try Hack Me for a while. And again, this is completely free. Their beginner pathway has more than 500 free trainings that will literally help you start from scratch, especially if you're interested in red team roles or ethical hacking roles where you're working in offensive security, where you'll get to practice on red teaming challenges and CTFs. You start with learning the fundamentals of 
how Track Hackme works and their entire platform that you can use. And then you'll go into tooling. Just an example of some of the tooling that they'll cover. And again, great additions to add onto your resume and tools that you can use for future projects. Many of these are free to use or open source or have a community edition that you can download for free. But some of these tools include Nmap, Hydra, the OWASP Z attack proxy, and Metasploit. And then they'll basically ease you in into different CTF or capture the flag challenges. Capture the flags or CTFs are basically tournaments that are run specifically with hacking challenges in many different areas and domains of security. And it's a great way to get hands-on practice. And they're also a great addition to add onto your resume as well. There's a website called CTF Time where you can basically check out when the next CTFs are happening. And you can also find a CTF team to join. And basically as you do more try hack me hacking challenges, you'll start from easy and then go into more intermediate advanced hacking rooms and CTF. CTF challenges so that you can sharpen your skills and continue to learn. For example, you'll go into crypto and hashing, web security, reverse engineering, networking, privilege escalation, advanced CTF challenges, and finally getting hands-on with Windows Fundamentals, Active Directory, and various ways to exploit a Windows machine. This entire free pathway will take you a very long time to complete, so you'll have a lot of fun just digging through the various different challenges that they have set up here. But if you're interested in red teaming and are looking for a place to get started, this is going to be the course for you. And as an extra bonus, if you're someone who is interested in cybersecurity but are also considering potentially starting a career in IT first, because IT roles typically tend to be more entry-level, and you may have an easier time starting your career in IT and then pivoting into cybersecurity as well, I'd recommend checking out the Course Careers IT course that is taught by Josh Matikor, who is another YouTuber who started his career in IT before moving into cybersecurity. His IT course has hands-on labs on Microsoft Azure, help desk ticketing system configuration and usage, VPNs, Active Directory configuration, DNS or domain name system, and network file shares and permissions. It is completely online, self-paced, and comes with practice interview prep and the chance to network with other students, mentors, and the instructor. Plus, there's also a 14-day money-back guarantee policy, no questions asked, so you can trial this course risk-free. And if you're interested in the Course Careers IT course, you can also get a $50 discount using the link in my description. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if there are any other courses you would add to this list. I'm sure there are many cybersecurity beginner courses out there. Don't forget to join our Discord channel to join the conversation and about cybersecurity courses, interviews, GRC, getting a job, certifications, etc. Feel free to also connect on LinkedIn. I post videos weekly and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!